Bowser, I told you, your eating window isn't even until 2 p.m. What are you freaking out about? Bowser, it's almost my eating window. It's close enough. Give me my apple. Yes! Eating window. Let's do this. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Jackson Desjardins. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer. I've personally lost 80 plus pounds, almost 100 pounds guys, and I'm here to help you guys do the exact same thing. So as most of you know, I lost almost all of my weight through intermittent fasting, more specifically the OMAD, I don't want to call it a diet, but the OMAD eating window style of eating, so one meal a day. While OMAD can be a little bit intimidating, and rightfully so, I wanted to take this video to give you the beginner guide to fasting for weight loss. Whether you're doing intermittent fasting or any eating window there is out there, I want to give you this guide because I wish I had it before I lost the weight and fasting played a crucial role in my weight loss journey. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but I love chewing on these like Starbucks little chewy things. They put them in the drink to like keep them hot. I love chewing on them. So if you have an oral fixation like me, these are the move. So guys, one thing that we can all agree on is the fact that in order to lose weight, you've got to be in a calorie deficit, meaning that you have to eat less than you burn. As long as we eat that number of calories, where that food comes from technically doesn't matter, and the time of day that you eat it also does not matter. So I want to take this video to break down the beginner's guide, the blueprint to fasting so that you can maybe try it out in your life and see if you like it, because I know it changed my life. And even though I like to say that I don't technically do it anymore, every now and then I always work my way back to fasting, especially on the weekend if I know that I'm gonna be eating a larger meal later that night if I'm going out to dinner with my parents or something like that. So fasting can be extremely practical. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to give it a try and apply it to your weight loss goals. You guys know it ain't a party until we've got our Transparent Labs protein. This is my favorite protein. Use code Jackson and check out, save yourself some cheddar, and support your boy. I highly recommend the vanilla flavor. I've never been a like vanilla protein powder flavor guy until I tried Transparent Labs. So I, as you can see, it's kind of green in here too. That's because I've got my prebiotic in here as well. So get your poops right and get your protein. You know what I'm saying? Can't beat that. All right, guys, let's talk fasting. If you're thinking about fasting, then before you choose what type of fasting, it's really important that you think about your lifestyle and which version could work best for you. So having said that, I wanna start with the crown jewel of intermittent fasting, which is going to be the 16 and eight window. This means that for 16 hours of the day, you don't eat and then you eat for eight hours of the day. So for example, it's about 1 p.m. right now. Usually I don't do this, but I haven't eaten anything yet today. I've just simply had my coffee, and my water. And I'm planning on eating from about 1 p.m. to about 9 p.m. That's my window to eat everything that I wanna have. So this works great for somebody who just wants to skip breakfast and just do lunch and then eat throughout the rest of the day. Or to those crazy individuals who would like to skip dinner because I could tell you that I would so much rather skip my first meal of the day rather than my last. Going to bed hungry for me is not fun, though I have done it so many times. So basically, if you're gonna be interested in this eating window, then that just simply means that you are going to be giving up a meal either in the beginning or the end of the day. It is totally up to you. I find this the most practical approach to intermittent fasting because it makes it really easy first thing in the morning for me when I skip breakfast to just not think about it. I just know that I've got my black coffee and I've got my water. So if you don't mind skipping the first meal of the day or the last meal of the day and you just want to eat all of your food in an eight hour window which really a lot of people do just unknowingly then that form of fasting can be great for you now the second type of fasting is very similar but it's just a little bit more extreme which is the warrior diet so i hate the word diet i don't know why they call it a diet it's just an eating window and this eating window you fast for 20 hours 
and eat for four. So this would mean that, let's say, you fast all day up to noon and then you eat up to about 4 p.m. Or you can fast all the way up to maybe, let's say, 3 p.m. and then eat until 7 p.m. I have fasted this way. It's usually like on the weekends or something like that when I wanna save room for a big meal and I know that I'm going out to dinner, or I know that we're, we're ordering pizza or something along those lines. Maybe I ordered a fat and weird cookie, you never know. So this just extends the fact that it's like, you don't have to think about food for a lot more of the day. It's just literally, okay, I know I'm not eating anything and I might be skipping breakfast and I might just have lunch and an early dinner or something along those lines. This allows you to eat more calories within those meals. So instead of spacing them all out, I know I'm one of those people that I would rather have like, two big meals throughout the day than like six teeny rabbit meals. I wanna eat a grown man meal and I wanna be full, I wanna be satiated. So if you want to just extend your fasting window to the warrior diet where you're only eating for four hours of the day, that could work fabulously for you. It's just a matter of finding your medium here. So the warrior diet is the second of the three that I wanna share with you. Yes, there are more fasting options, but these are the only three that worked for me. And I wouldn't wanna give you advice on eating windows that I have not actually tried. So the third and final eating window that I would like to talk about, you guys have heard me talk about it before and it is a little something called OMAD which stands for one meal a day now those of you who've been following me for long enough know that the majority of my weight loss transformation I did OMAD now this is not for everybody this is one meal a day and I was able to do this because I was working as a lifeguard on the beach all day and I would literally have my meal around 3 p.m. that was it I would pack it in the morning I wouldn't have to think about food because I'm overweight with my shirt off on the beach all day it was very motivating for me not to eat and then when my eating window came around, I would have a massive meal full of basically whatever I wanted as long as it wasn't crazy calorie dense because it is so easy to eat 5,000 calories in like a meal and a half if you eat the right things or more so the wrong things. So OMAD was so convenient for me because it allowed me to be able to have all of the food that I really wanted. I had a cookie, I had a lollipop, I had a sandwich, I had chips, I had whatever I wanted because if somebody brought in donuts, I had a donut because I knew that I was probably gonna have room for it. Now guys, what I don't talk about a lot is I didn't actually track my calories when I was losing most of my weight. I just knew that considering all the cardio that I was doing, all the beach workouts that I was doing as a lifeguard, it would be really, really hard for me to eat all of the calories that I was burning in a single day in one meal. So I didn't even track calories. And for some people, this is really good, but I can tell you it had its challenges. If you don't like being hungry, OMAD is not for you because those people who tell you, oh, fasting, I swear, I'm just like not hungry when I do it. Guys, you're not eating food. You're gonna be hungry. Like, don't listen to those people. You don't really adapt to it that much. You might get used to the feeling of being hungry, but you're not gonna just not be hungry because you've adapted to fasting. Okay, you're always gonna be hungry. But OMAD made it so simple for me because if I wanted to have a little something at night, then I would. I would. If my mom made something really good, I'd have a bite of it or I'd have a little something, which is scary for some people because sometimes, especially with OMAD, it's a lot easier to have nothing than it is to have a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's so much easier for me to have no chips than to have two chips, right? Because once I have those two chips, I'm gonna be like, damn boy, I need some more of them. But if you are somebody who doesn't wanna think about food throughout the day, and you wanna bet on the fact that, you know what, it's gonna be really hard, as active as I am, if you're being active, to be able to eat all of these calories at one time, OMAD could be for you. What I found with OMAD was it was not very sustainable and it caused me to overeat a lot because I would just be thinking about food. I literally would get like an obsession with food. I would watch like ASMR videos. So guys, I've done all these versions of fasting consistently. You've got intermittent fasting where you're fasting for 16 hours and then you eat for eight. You've got the warrior diet where you fast for 20 hours and then you eat for four. And then you've got OMAD where you literally just eat one meal a day, nice and simple. So now that we've talked about all the different kinds of fasting, I wanna talk about the pros and cons of fasting in general to see if it's for you or not. So the pros are you keep it really, really simple. It's not complicated. You're not worrying about, oh, I have to eat at this hour. I have to eat this at this hour. Meal timing doesn't matter at all throughout your day. I want you to remember that. It comes down to calories in and calories out by the end of the day. However, intermittent fasting keeps it super simple. So you don't have to wonder, oh, am I, I've gotta eat every other hour. I've gotta eat every two hours. You just don't have to worry about it. You know that it's like, okay, I'm eating within this window. What I'm eating is up to me, but I've gotta eat in a calorie deficit in this window. Another pro that you've got is the fact that you can eat bigger meals. You don't have to eat rabbit meals throughout the entire day. So I'm one of those people, like I said, I wanna eat a bigger meal rather than a bunch of small meals. So if you're like me in that sense, then it's, that is a huge pro to intermittent fasting. Now, as far as cons, you're gonna be hungry. There's no way around it. If you are fasting, 
and you're not eating, you're going to be hungry. If you're one of those people that, that doesn't get hungry until like later in the day, that's a blessing. This might work really well for you, but don't think that you're not gonna be hungry. Con number two is gonna be, I found myself overeating a ton. When I was fasting, I would get in the mindset of like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. So then when it was time to eat, I would disregard all the calories that I had planned out to eat. And then I would just go ahead and eat so many more things because I was just so famished and I would overeat just because of how hungry I was. And the last con that I wanna to talk to you about is it can get very obsessive. No one needs to worry about how many calories are in the stick of gum that they are chewing. No one needs to worry about how many calories of almond milk are in their coffee in the morning because it's so low calorie, it doesn't matter. So it can get very obsessive and that's what I want you to stay away from as much as you possibly can because you will drive yourself crazy like I have. So guys, now my final thoughts and tips on fasting are gonna be keep yourself busy. If I did not work as a lifeguard while I was doing OMAD one meal a day, I would not have been able to do it. And I want you to know how serious I am about that. If you're not busy, this is gonna be really hard. Boredom is the devil's playground and it breeds hunger that is perceived. You're not actually hungry. Along with that, pick the right time that you want to eat. If you don't want to go to bed hungry, you're not going to want to do a fasting window where the last meal you're having is at like 1 p.m. That doesn't make any sense. You're going to have to figure out what lifestyle works for you because we're about building habits, not going on diets here. You're going to have to figure out what eating window fits your lifestyle. What do you want your day to look like? Or what do you want your eating windows to look like? Very important. So if you're new here, do not be afraid to like and subscribe down below to join a passionate group of individuals who not only want to lose weight, but improve themselves in every way. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell down below so you can get notified every time one of my videos go live. So on that note, as always, let's keep getting better together and let's keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.